Julian does not get geek high. I don't. I do not. He don't got money. Fuck ye. Yo. <laughs> Death Grips by the Money Store is a classic. Bro, when you go, when are you gonna let that die, bro? bro take that I'm never letting it die. die. Yeah, that's not a statement. Death statement Grips by yeah, the Money hard. Store is a classic album. Suck my wee wee. Anyways, uh, welcome back to Keep It Over Raps. Um, <laughs> my name is Julian. I'm Johanse. Long time no see. Johanse is free. Yes. They free my dog. What's your name, though? My name is my name. Okay, Pusha T. That is what's true. Your, what's your name? You with the beard over there. My name is Jason Tatum. Okay. And what are we reviewing today, Jason Tatum? Um, besides your terrible finals performance. Oh, right, uh, man. Uh, my name is Christian Ortiz, and you already know we're here to review West Side Buggy, man. Um, more black superheroes. Welcome back, motherfucker. You can start. Bro, yeah, I'll you can start, actually. Because none of y'all even really like that one. Look, bro, uh, like, I'm not gonna just be like, it sucked. Cause, like, it's just, it's not my kind of music. But to me, bro, like, it was not good enough to, like, warrant the subject matter. Like, the delivery was not good enough to warrant the subject matter. And the subject matter was just, like, a bunch of fucking, like, toxic, like, immature nonsense. And it was just, like, yo, like, I get it. Like, that's just how some niggas live. Like, whatever. But, like the reason I can listen to people like sitting there about like destroying communities and selling crack all day is because like those songs are exceptionally good. Like the flows, the deliveries. This was just not, I don't know, to me it just sonically wasn't really there. And because of that, I was very like critical of like the lyricism, which I also didn't find to be that good. This guy is killing Westside Boogie wow. for having a song named LOL Shake in my head. <laughs> this kind of hard though, I'm not gonna lie. That was, a, that was actually a good song on there. I like most of the album. The songs that I don't like particularly are the songs where there's like singing. And it's mostly because like, first of all, Westside Boogie cannot sing. And second of all, the songs where usually it was more like sing-songy, he was carried by the feature. I mean, he could sing. No. It just like, his voice don't sound good singing. He can't so he can't sing. sing. That's There's what I meant. a difference between the two. No, it's not. What it's is like it? You, like, nigga, niggas can sing, but not every nigga is going to be... Like, All right. I, obviously, I don't mean he has the ability to sing. Everyone has that ability. What like, I mean. J. Cole can sing. No. Drake can sing. West Side Boogie isn't even, like, J. Cole level. J. Cole level isn't Drake level. But J. Cole's okay. But hierarchy of things. Wait, 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 wait. J. Cole is not at Drake level of singing. Yeah, I didn't say that. Oh, oh I thought you did. My bad. My fault. <laughs> Yo, Drake, Drake can't sing, though. Drake can definitely sing, bro. Alright? Better than J. Cole and Westside Friendship Boogie. Friendship and loyalty. But yeah, no, like, That's I didn't like... That's not what it's giving. Oh, my God. I, like, didn't like the song with Smino that much. I thought Smino carried on that song. I really thought you were going to dick ride that, so I apologize, bro. No, I... I no. thought you were going to dick ride it because Smino was on. No, nah, Smino carried that song. I don't like nonchalant. That song is... Did, I did not like that hook. I, it was just like too <laughs> sappy. Like I didn't like that shit. I didn't like the song bro, with. It features mommy, bro. All right. Yeah, both of those songs with mommy, I did not like, and I didn't like. Bro, prideful. I liked about seven of the twelve songs. I would say, and so like actually the songs that I did like were actually like pretty good. Like they were like strong. Like I with uh, which I haven't heard a drum on anything for years. Yeah. But that song was hard. The song with Snoop Dogg was really good. Even the interlude, Ratchet Boog interlude, that, yeah, like that shit was nice. I liked the idea of the theme, like the concept. Like, I'm not like him where like I, I can listen to the shit, but I don't it's not think like I can't listen to it. Well, like it's not, it's not like it's not like your preferred concept. Like yeah. it's like, you know, like I just didn't think it was very well executed. Like I think he could have gone more in depth. It was just very surface level toxic stuff, and I think that someone and like someone like kendrick for example who addressed toxicity on like or like trauma and how that affects you on a much deeper scale like made this album like not that interesting to me i was literally thinking to like all of those things he was saying like when i was listening to this mm. like i mean like and I, like obviously i don't want to compare west side boogie to kendrick because like kendrick is on a plane completely of his own but i still feel like you could have gone more in depth 
Like the song, like, and cause I, just cause I don't like this song, Nonchalant was so like. Sleep nonchalant. Bobby Carey, bro. It was nonchalant. It was very, yeah. <laughs> and what the fuck is Soldier Boy doing on that song? I like Yo. the Soldier Boy feature. No. We go okay. All right, what we're not going to do is disrespect Soldier Boy. Nah. Here. Okay. Big Draco was you ass on that shit. Big Draco? Big Draco was ass on that shit. Uh, he was offbeat and not like his flow. Care. It doesn't matter. Nah, bro. Soldier Boy. Thank that nigga. Yeah. I like, I like. For real, bro. The, I like the first shit. half of this album a lot more than I like the second half. I'll tell you that much. Mm-hmm. Um, once they got to like after can't get over you, I was kind of just like eh. that's the Speedo song. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't want to sound like I'm shitting on this album because it's not bad. I just uh, like I feel like a lot of people were hyping it up on Twitter and stuff like that. Like people were saying like, oh, this shit is way better than the Drake album, and this shit is I'm way not better. Than, on it either, like, I don't know. I'm just saying for myself. Like yeah. this shit is way better than the Logic album, it, and it, it wasn't better than either one of those two to me. But like, I don't think it's bad. I think it's like okay. Stuck was really nice. Nonchalant Stuck was, was nice. I like Nonchalant. I, I know, contrary to popular opinion, but out of the first eight songs, I really like six of them. Everything else can go to hell. So you like half the album. <laughs> Damn. That was aggressive. So you so like you half the album. So you don't really like this either? Nah, not really. Oh, okay. Uh, this is, like, those six songs, I would definitely get like some replay time, but only for so long. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going back to this album nonstop like I In do. In 2025. Yeah. Wasn't even thinking that far ahead, my boy, but sure. Nah, but like I just said it for you, like. You didn't have to, though. Nah, but I did, though. But, like, you, didn't, but you didn't have to. But guess what? You the fuck is a cute, you see this? Yeah, that's, that's yeah, very cute, bro. Bro. Just, anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway, anyway bro. Sorry. Bro. Sorry. 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 Man, bro. Bro, you hungry as fuck, bro. bro. I have not eaten since 12, bro. That's real. So, how'd you feel about this album, Larry? This album was an album. Bro, don't start, bro. Don't start, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would like to apologize to Westside Boogie. Um, he not watching our shit. You don't have to apologize to him. I'm not particularly his biggest fan as of yet. And I also feel like that may have factored into this listening experience. Um, I definitely can say that out of 12 tracks, I probably enjoyed more than half. But, uh... How much more I really couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Yeah, you did, you kind of did your thing in some areas. You kind of didn't do your thing in other areas, man. But have you heard any of Westside Boogie's projects besides this? No. That's why. I, I would say go to listen. But to I've that. heard like select songs, and mm-hmm. I know that people. I know that he has a, a big following. So like everything for sale is what. I know. Yeah, I that's, know that album people, is better. Yeah. I know a lot of people like that was a very highly acclaimed. Uh, album, especially mm-hmm. in the year that it dropped. Yeah. But uh. What year did it come out? Twenty eighteen. Twenty nineteen. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I think. I mean, based off of what you guys are saying, it looks as if he could have done better with this. Yeah. Was that album anywhere near as melodic as this one? No. It's this more. It's more melodic. rapping. Yeah. I feel like another thing too. He utilizes a Smino feature the same as everyone else. I feel like a lot of people utilize Smino over a lot of melodic shit. I mean, that's where Smino... That's where Smino thrives, I said. Uh, that's where most of Smino's own music sounds like. Nar is just straight vibes. I feel like he would sound good on something different. Yeah. I feel, at least, that's me. I feel like people in that category of, like, newer rappers, like him, Jid, like, uh... I mean, those are the main two I can think of, think of off the top of my head, but like, I feel like they could thrive in a lot of different areas. IDK even. I feel like there is a cap to how to how much melodic shit I like. Same. Yeah, I feel you on and that. So that's probably why I don't enjoy this album as much as uh, a common West Side Boogie can. So I would say mm-hmm. that like, I lied earlier when I said it's not better than either one of those projects. I do think it is like around the same level as the Drake project to me. I like... As what? Bro, you wasn't fucking with the Drake project? No, 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 no. Like, dude, like I said, this album isn't bad. I like like most of the songs. I like more than half of the songs. And the same thing with Drake. So, I, like, it's around the same level of enjoyability to me. But, like... You said 9 out of 14 for Drake, you had yeah, to say... I think... 7 out of 12 of these songs you like. Yeah. So... It's like less, it's like five. Mathematically speaking, you'd probably fuck with this album more than the Drake one. Uh, like slightly more, yeah. Yeah. But 
Mind you, I, if you guys saw my R Drake review, I don't dislike that album either. Like this album is like, there was potential here that just I feel like wasn't properly fully developed. A lot was underwhelming. Yeah. Uh, the two mommy features. Uh, you hate on mommy. I saw Kalen Two for real on here, and he he wasn't even sounding like the Kalen Two for real that I fuck with. Like imagine your favorite artist features on someone else's song, and they just don't sound like themselves, bro. Uh, that happens a lot. Or like one of your favorite artists. It don't yeah. even gotta be your outright favorite. Mm. That just would be weird, bro. Yeah, it would. And like, I'm obviously again not the biggest Smino fan either, but like, Smino could have been. Nah, no, I, mean, I thought Smino. Do you think Smino could have been used better, or do you think that he? I like Smino's verse. Was I just, it satisfactory? Yeah. Or. I think like. He got big Snoop on there. He did, and Snoop Dogg's feature was pretty good. At least Snoop I thought so. Lying. Yeah, like, I don't know, yeah, like... Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a bug with you. Yeah. Jack Harlow used Snoop Dogg better. Probably. It was over for Pharrell production, wasn't oh, it? Oh, for the two lines on Young Harleazy before the yep. beat dropped? Wasn't Young Harleazy Pharrell produced? I actually I really know. like the Jack Harlow album. Why are you lying right now? You gave it a 1.8. <laughs> What you mean, bro? I think, like, people's expectations on Twitter, because, like, people, like I said, people were saying on Twitter that this shit was really good. I think... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I had to force myself to listen to this album. So did I. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think you guys would go check this album out if it wasn't for. Okay. I, I, I listened to Westside Boogie and like I, I listened to the first track and I, I never went back. Bro. Damn, you didn't like the first song, Killer Mode? No. What? You don't like Killer Mode? No. That's a good song. Damn. I, I like I said I like from Stuck to like track number eight, and I think I didn't like the whatever the seventh one was. Alright, I was one of the best ones. What? Yeah. Uh, Alright, maybe it wasn't that one. Hold on. I think you're talking about Prideful. Prideful 2. Yeah, Prideful 2 was not good. I didn't like that shit either. Yeah, it was probably that one. I mean, do you think the album was bad though? Do you like genuinely not like it? It's not good. It's just not bad. Because like, they're. For, I like six it's songs. Mid? Yeah, pretty much. Like, if, if I like six out of the 12 songs, I'm just going to give it the half a half. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Cause truth be told, I'm probably gonna go home and, and bump that nonchalant song. I like that song, but Jesus, it's one of the songs with a star next to it. Yeah, people are saying that song is really good. People really like that song. What you trying to call me trendy or something, bro? Yes. <laughs> you trying to call me a bitch? Like, yes. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this man Boogie said she in the crystal to release and meditation at the at the beach. I'm in there acting like a thief. <laughs> and come and taking all the fees. <laughs> yeah. No. Nah. Nah, yeah. But How yeah. many bodies do you got on the north side? <laughs> Was that the next line? <laughs> There's no way that's the very next line, bro. Is that really the next line? I swear to God. Okay, nah, yeah. Man. What am I giving this album out of 10? Like a 6.5. I give it like a. I give it a. I give it like a 5. A 5 slap? Maybe that, maybe like a 4.8 oh, to be honest. Damn. Yeah. I, just, I just thought it was so like boring. It was just mad boring. I was like, damn, can this Yo, stop? Black youngster forehead is wild, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> that man. Yo, look at that man's forehead, bro. Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. That is not black youngster, bro. <laughs> that is definitely Yo Gotti. That shit's wavy, bro. I just messed up. No, I don't. Out of ten though, <laughs> out of ten though, I'm probably giving this shit like a five and a half, bro. Larry, we getting it out. <laughs> Damn, Larry, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga said bang it. Why get the forehead? Not even that crazy, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? Imagine a headbutt from Yo Gotti. Like, <laughs> Larry, what would you get this album? <laughs> I wonder to say when you get this out. Oh, fuck. I'll give the West Side Boogie album like a solid like 3.9. What? <laughs> For real? It, was, it, was, it just wasn't it, bro. A 3.9? Wait, you said a 3.9? Yes, bro. What? Oh, that's crazy. Damn, bro. I'm not a lot. I did not think it was going to be this negative for this album. Just give it, it a just four, suck. Bro. It doesn't suck. I give it a four for real, though. Like, wait, wait, Larry. So you giving this album a worse score than the Jack Harlow album? You gave Jack Harlow a four point four. Equally. 
four point four. I'm gonna get this four. No, you get you get your hella four point seven. I get four point four. Okay, I'll give you a 4.4. <laughs> so, you giving it a 4.4? I'm giving this album a 4.4. What are y'all top four songs? Give me Killer Mode. Give me <clears throat> I. Give me Ratchet Boog. It's not Ratchet Boog, it's Ratchet Boog. It's Bro. Not, his, his name is not Boogie, it's Boogie. I'm the Boogie! <laughs> but yeah, anyways. Killer Mode, I. Windows Down, and Ratchet Boog. Damn. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, it's it's not bad. That wasn't a bad song. Yeah. Stuck was not bad either. I like Stuck a lot, actually. I don't know. What are we picking? Three? Four. I can't do four. <laughs> if I had to make a top four, let me just say that Johansson is shameless because he only he only made two tracks. Yeah, right? Two tracks, bro. Damn. I did that for the Jack Carlo album too. That yeah, but tell you, you gave that shit a one point eight. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you didn't even name the song for that album. No, you, I said, said, you said if one was not that bad is Young Harleazy. Yeah, that is what I said. <laughs> Top four gotta be. Can't even lie. I uh, I guess I'm gonna be like LOL shaking my head too. For the fourth track, I'll go Ratchet, but Stuck Nashalant, LOL SMH, can't even lie. That was our review of um What little of a review we made. More African American superheroes. By Which we need more of. Boogie on the west side. Type shit. Um, hey, go fuck with me on Instagram, though. Um, at your big local poppy slash underscore uh, Mitski. If that was your Instagram, I would not follow you. Wait, you like Mitski, bro? That fem cell music? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Keep It Over Raps. If you're interested in all the things rap, subscribe and share. Thank you for viewing the video. If you got this far, be sure to like and comment. Be sure to check out our other videos and stay tuned for more coming soon.